For those of you who are blessed to be able to have time to work in a garden, take advantage of it. You're not at work, you're not at a family get together. Wear whatever you want, be free. Wear a man's shirt, to XL. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're hot and, and sweaty and you're gonna get dirty. Now, since I've lost weight the past few years, uh, this is too big on me. So what I do to make it wearable is I take this hair tie, let's see. See, it, it's, it's much too big. Take the hair tie, gather this, and just put it around a few times, and it fits better. And you could kind of fool around with it, make it look like a rose or something. So, this new headscarf I made, I'm so happy I like it, so I don't have to start over again and take it apart. So let's see, you could look at it. Those of you who are wondering why people wear headscarves, do you know that for most of history, most people in the world covered their heads most of the time? And uh, if you're in the habit of reading the Bible, you might have noticed that there's three people specifically are mentioned, either by their title or their name, uh, women that wore headscarf. One of them is the wife of, wait, let me see now, Isaac, Jacob, Isaac, the wife of Isaac. The other one is the lady, the bride in the Song of Solomon. And the other one is Ruth. You can look that up and, and check it out. And in the Bible that Christians use, that they call the New Testament, uh, covering a woman covering her head uh, is also mentioned. You can look that up. So I feel best, not when I'm looking in the mirror, but when I'm active, when I'm creating things. So, you know, sewing, carpentry, any idea that comes into my head. Uh, thank heavens for social security that I could do this. And of course, even with social security, because the prices are, are raising ridiculously on everything, uh, you have to, you know, live frugally, make your own things. Don't eat out. Don't buy anything that's already ready. You just open the thing and you eat it. Make it yourself. Make a lot of it. Freeze it. One of my sons gave me a gift of um, a separate freezer and in the kitchen, a separate refrigerator. So that's also a big help because you could make a giant pot of something and put it in little containers and freeze it and it's almost ready. You just have to thaw it out or heat it up. Now, what else? I'll, I'll wait to show you the other things I made recently because I want to put some finishing touches on them. And uh, also I want to have things around here that will entertain my grandchildren. Part of their part of their learning and also that they can enjoy.